I don't know why a Texas teacher would be doing this, dragging a boy with special needs or any child. But a boy with special needs by his ankle. Let's just uh, go through this together. Amber Hall, who used to work at Tips Elementary School in Houston, was charged with injury to a child for dragging the five year old down a hallway by his ankles. KPRC TV reported she entered her guilty plea last August. I wish you would treat my kid this way. You better hope I don't find out. You know. You are damaging young minds, hearts. Incident happened in September 2022. It was captured on surveillance video. Footage shared by the outlet shows the teacher holding the boy by the leg, lugging him down blue carpet and tiled floors. The child was initially in the gym with other students when he became frustrated and left after he chose not to play in the ongoing activity. Shouldn't even be working with special needs kids. Where? Who trained you? This these sound like manageable behaviors. This sounds like part of training. It's frankly, sounds like any kid. Actually, it sounds like any kid. And he shouldn't be doing this. Court documents said Hall found the boy on the floor having a tantrum, specifically kicking and screaming before she started dragging him, according to the report. She took him all the way to the life skills classroom to another teacher. Child was examined by the school nurse. Later by staff at a local hospital, it was determined that he had carpet burns that were tender to the touch. Plead guilty. Child's mother, Nicole Graves, a teacher at Tips Elementary, didn't see her son's injuries until they got home after she picked him up from school. The outlet reported days later, Hall explained to police that she was not adequately trained to handle the situation and was searching for a colleague to help her. Well, I didn't hear that the boy was kicking anybody else. Go get the colleague first instead of causing injury. That's what you do. And how brazen. Mom's right in the building, but you don't care, do you? That shows what your heart is doing, shows what's inside of you. You wanted to hurt this child, that's my take. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Mother's interactions with other school staff. So let's make matters worse, shall we? During her tenure at Tips Elementary, she was warned not to intervene in situations involving her son. Not going to tell me. Who notably has had several tantrums and had to be restrained dozens of times after being dragged by Hall, you think? However, Graves found herself in an incident with her son, school staff, and the principal in May 2023. While the child was being restrained, she reportedly tried to get him, but the principal wouldn't allow it. This is so, this, y'all are daft. Look it up. Y'all are daft at this school. Principal, the dragger, and anybody else who is acting this goofy. She's accused of getting physical with the principal and making threats saying we can fight. Considering what was done, huh? well, it's not that bad. She denied the claims and said she didn't touch any of her colleagues. Months later, she was let go following an investigation. Yeah, who conducted that? She had to transfer her children to another school as well. In a statement to KPRC TV, the district said Graves resigned from her position, but she showed a letter to the news station that said she was fired. Sound like only one person telling the truth here. Although upset, Graves said Hall was placed in a classroom and unequipped with proper training to handle students like her son. To be honest, as angry as I am about what happened to my son, I feel sorry for her too, because she was not trained. She didn't know how to handle students in my son's shoes. August 2nd, Hall pled guilty to injury to a child, a third degree felony, waived the right of a trial by jury, prosecutor will recommend her punishment. Not sure I even trust that, okay. Um, a senator, I, I've just been around a little bit, and so maybe I'm not being fair. But I believe the mother, and I guess the perp, at least uh, I have not been trained, but I, she led with anger, and that's my problem. You know, it's like, we're only human. 
I try not to yell at my child because that's about anger, not correction. Certainly not cause injury like this. What's your take? Anger and frustration mainly. Frustration can lead to anger. But I gotta tell you, Sharon, so I'm gonna put my commentator's hat on and then put my mama's hat on. So the commentator in me says frustration led to anger. Yeah. The school district is culpable because you should not have any teacher or any paraprofessional or anybody engaging with special, special needs children, because all children have special needs, but they should not be engaging with special, special needs children without having that type of training. And then training or no training, what you do know is that you don't drag a child down the damn hallway. You don't need no training for that. Okay, so that's my commentator hat. The school district is culpable. Now, let me put on my mama hat. I wish a mofo would. There it is. My grandmother had a saying, you mess with mine, I'm going to jail and you going to hell. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. You put your hands on mm-hmm. any child of mine and it's going to be all car- carnal. Mm-hmm. You know, I had one of my mentors, a councilwoman, Fanny M. Lewis, Sharon, who I know you know very well. <laughs> she used to always say, you know, Jesus loves you and I'm trying to like you. <laughs> It, it, it would have took everything. Black Jesus wouldn't have been able to keep me off this chick. Mm-hmm. And I would have went to jail happily. That's and right. I had never been to jail a day in my life. No. But, but you that day you would have gone. That's right. On my child That's and right. dragged this child down the hallway. The chick knew exactly what <laughs> she was. Right. You don't need no training for that. So uh, let me back, let me back, let me can I let me back it on up though, Sharon. Let me go on back uh, to the commentator. I'm just okay. saying that's what mama got me hyped. Nina, that's that mama yeah. Nina would have done all that. Yeah. But commentator, Senator <laughs> yeah. Nina, okay, name I'm your right. title. I, I'm just saying there's some culpability yeah. around, and that mother should definitely sue that school district. Oh, you took me on a roller coaster. Folks, they you gave me a roller baby. coaster ride, and then you helped me come on. Yeah. Here, here's yeah. what what breaks my heart. Where's the empathy? If yep. Sharon Reed and Nina Turner were colleagues at Tips Elementary School, and even if I I didn't teach your son, but I saw you. He's having difficulty that day. I'm going to go get you, wrap my arms, show love like, hey, Nina, he needs you. Let me watch your classroom for a minute. Come on down. Why were they so hell bent? It's like they enjoyed, uh, we're going to use this procedure, this takedown, we're going to be doing this, and you better not intervene. I want the, wouldn't the mother know better than anybody else? Wouldn't, Wouldn't a child who lays eyes on A friendly face, a loving, unconditionally loving face. Wouldn't that help alleviate? Why are you withholding love in favor of what feels like punishment and even hate? Why are you doing this to these people? That's right. And black children, Sharon, are not allowed to be children, though. We need to point that out. And that's that's subjective. And it's not just at the hands of, I'm not just talking about white people here. I'm talking mm-hmm. about a psychology mm-hmm. in this country that, again, is rooted. You and I talked about, about a lot about white supremacy, that kind of thing. It is a thought process that is injected into everything that happens in this country. And part of that, there are studies that are out there that show very clearly mm-hmm. that black children are not seen as children. Mm-hmm. They're often labeled as older than what they really are. And so they don't get the same ta- type mm-hmm. of empathy by and large that mm-hmm. white children and other children may get. Let me give another Cleveland example. I love when I'm rocking with my Cleveland uh, Sharon because you want Tamir Rice, same thing. Oh my goodness. He was, you know, a baby. The police officer said they thought 1. he was 20. Seconds. He was 12 and the police officer said he thought he was 20 years old. Now it doesn't matter whether he was 12 or 20, what they, 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 this officer Loman, he didn't follow procedure, but I want to put that yeah. in the parking lot. The fact is, and it's not just law enforcement, black children by and large are seen as older. Yep. And secondly, black children do not overall systemically mm-hmm. get the benefit of the doubt of being children first. Mm-hmm. And even if this little boy was totally not extra special, mm-hmm. brain development science mm-hmm. is clear that mo- brains don't develop until people are around 25 years old. Period, across the board, extra special or not. But Sharon, your point is the hallmark point. Where was the love and the empathy knowing that the mama is in the school? 
What a bonus that would have been to go get that mama shan. You hit that. That's the hallmark. That is the point of, of this whole, you you seal that. That's it. Uh, Why didn't y'all go get the mama? You love your kid, don't you think I love mine? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Why? I, my my mind's telling me one thing, but you're breaking my heart every time we 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 see this. Yeah. I appreciate your perspective. I like I both. Commentator, Senator <laughs> Nina Turner, and Mama, and Mama. Bear. Okay. 